Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing you my review, swatches, and these two looks using the brand new Pure Cosmetics and Raw Beauty Christy Press Pigment Palette. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you will consider to subscribe to my channel, ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads, and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to see all the details of this very hyped up palette, then just keep on watching. I was losing all hopes that I was going to get in this palette from Raw Beauty Christie and Pure Cosmetics. We all know what happened with Pure Cosmetics website. It was a bumpy road for sure and Christy broke the internet, literally, but I'm happy I have it right here. And I say, uh, you know, that I was losing hope because honestly, I was able to place my order after many hours. I was there before nine o'clock in the morning and I ended up checking out by almost eight o'clock at night. I took a screenshot of my order, but I never received an email confirmation. I got three charges on my bank account that I still need to figure out that. And then I never received a shipping, you know, tracking number or anything like that. And all of a sudden it showed up. So it made me really, really happy. I feel really sad both for Pure Cosmetics and Christy because no business wants a lunch to go in such manner. And Christy, this is her first collab, but I'm super excited to be supporting her right here and to finally have my hands on on this eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna leave all the details of the eyeshadow palette for you to go and check out Christy's video because I don't want to take up that excitement for her to really explain why she chose each of the shades and also the names of them and all those details. I will give you definitely swatches and we will do an eye look right here and whatnot and we will talk about you know certain details but if you want all that in-depth inspiration of this palette obviously I will leave that to Chrissy. Okay friends so let me show it to you. Here it is the Unicard so beautiful it kind of reminds me a little bit of the nars type of black packaging that is very soft and then you have this glossy effect right here and all these designs right here they were made by hand by christy she's extremely artistic and this is just work of art beautiful each of these drawings they have a meaning to them again refer to christy's video right there and then on the back you have her beautiful face a little bit of a story and this palette is what she says is a duality so basically you have your neutral side and your colorful side so these right here are all the nine shades on one side nine right here 18 total and another thing that is very important and I'm sorry because I first said eyeshadow palette this is not an eyeshadow palette this is a double-sided press pigment palette and that's something that has to do with the regulations here in United States if you use press pigments on your palettes you cannot say that it's an eyeshadow palette because press pigments most likely more than anything sometimes make can may cause a reaction on your skin but mostly is because the staining you know mostly on the colorful products but that's that my friends and then this palette is cruelty free gluten free vegan friendly it's recyclable and it has a shelf life of six months so that's a very short time span so you better get good use out of it if you get this palette that by the way right now when i'm filming this video is saturday july sorry july 18th so today it has started a pre-sale and I want you to make sure that you don't have to go to Pure Cosmetics website. They have created things with Shopify, another website that is called puretimesrawbeautychristy.com. I will leave again all the links down below. So hopefully the checkout will be a lot smoother and it's just for this collection. The palette cost me $34 and on this collection it comes two eyelashes. Now I didn't get the eyelashes because 
not because of the quality of, of pure cosmetic lashes. I, they are actually really nice, but because they are too long to big, and as you can tell, I don't have a lot of eyelid space, so I don't tend to use anything large. I don't use, like for example, the well-known uh, Lily lashes, you know, the Miami ones, because they are just too big. They go all the way even over <laughs> my eyebrows. So I didn't want to make a waste out of them. They are $14 each, and then they are also selling the whole collection for $62. Okay, friends, this palette is also made in China. And I know, I know a lot of you are going to be like, that's disappointing. Why China? <sighs> okay, let. <sighs> I don't want to give you here an instruction on why. But do you remember Scott Barnes' eyeshadow palette? That is also made in China and is of excellent quality, okay? So that aside, let's just take a peek of how it looks this palette on the inside. So here we go. I know my fingerprints are all over. I really, really love that this palette is consistent with the Unicorn. So on this side right here, where you find the holographic pure and Rob Beauty Christie logo or you know motif right there, it is to show the colorful side. And it comes with a really nice size mirror. The names are also on the side of each of the eyeshadows. And then on this side right here, where you see it has all of this imprint in rose gold. Also, you get a mirror, and here it is, your neutral side. And this is, again, this is that duality and the design that Christy thought about. And I think this was well thought out. The design of this was well thought out, because if you were to see this palette right here, all in one 18 eyeshadow palette format like a long format or a square format a lot of people would have criticized christy because of the design because of the color combination because she made it half neutral half colorful this way right here it was a really good route for people to be like okay this really talks about the duality of christy i mean when we see christy i'm i follow christy when i watch her channel i know she does beautiful neutral looks and i know she does this amazing i mean she's well known mostly for like her colorful amazing looks for her halloween looks i mean she's just She's just an artist. She's a true artist, true and true in everything that she does from designing and whatnot. So I think the thought about this is really good. Also, what I like about it is that although it's thick, it's not as thick as you, as I, you know, as you may have think for being a double-sided eyeshadow palette. And, you know, it goes with the concept, duality. You know, who is the person who has designed it? And like I said, break it down and bring something different to the market, something that you... I mean, I haven't seen something like this before. Let me know if you have seen something like this before, that you have two sides. I also love that she included two mirrors right here. And then I have this ColourPop eyeshadow palette here on the side. This is one of their nine pound palettes. Just for you to see the size, you know, the thickness right here. It's not a lot, so it's good for storaging. Also, I really love, I mean, Christy, she stands by, you know, everything that is recyclable, reusable, you know, that it has a very small impact on earth. And I appreciate all of that. And that's what she did. And, and she actually really pushes and suggests for you to recycle this package. Okay, friends. So um, let's go into swatches. I'm super excited for these. Okay, I'm going to start swatching this side right here, the neutral side. Camelot, it just does my whole heart copper boxes golden ticket moo point b told you you are not my real dad okay so here it is your neutral side for me this shade right here was really expected from christy and then this shade right here is really interesting it has a nice green undertone to it very very interesting okay let's move on to the colorful side flavor town garden estate tribute am i orange cafe disco side effect dandelion purple limus 
Okay, so this is the colorful side, and here we go. This is side by side the duality of this palette. Honestly, all the shades they pretty much swatch fairly well, I should say. I mean, obviously the colorful ones sometimes they are just a little bit harder to swatch because they are pigments. They are just different, but that doesn't mean absolutely anything. I didn't saw a lot of fallout or you know sometimes certain shadows they kind of like crack a little i didn't saw anything of that so the importance is how they act on the eyes now this palette right here is also magnetic and another interesting thing about this palette is that out of all the shades right here you only have one shimmer shade on each side so all of them are mattes now i'm not crazy for all matte eyeshadow palette I also like my shimmers, I like my metallics, but hey, you know, Christy, she's the artist, so she knows what she's doing right here. And if you're new here, I want to welcome you again to my channel. Thank you so much for being here, for your time, and if you're a subscriber of mine, thank you once again for being here and for all your support and for your information. I don't use eye primers on my eyelids when I'm reviewing an eyeshadow palette, just because I just want to see what's you know the outcome of the eyeshadows all by themselves because i mean i'm honest with you i'm not a makeup artist and in the past when i you know wasn't a youtuber or wasn't reviewing makeup i just didn't need, i think i didn't even know about eyeshadow primers i knew about primers for the face but i completely just skipped them so i want to give you the raw truth right here kind of like raw beauty christy right <laughs> been so raw okay anyhow friends let me zoom you in and let's start with the eyeshadow looks i'm gonna be adventurous i'm gonna go to the colorful side to my orange and i'm gonna start applying this shade above the crease you know what these shadows are not dry they feel a little bit creamy next i'm going to the shade side effect now I'm tapping off the excess and I'm going to take this shade right on the crease. Go with the purple shade tribute. And I'm going to apply this on my mobile lid. I'm packing Tribute a little bit more on my outer V just to intensify it and as well as the inner portion of my eyelid. For my lower lash line, I'm going to go to my orange. Side effect. And I'm taking this shade on my lower lash line all the way from the inner portion close to the outer third but not there yet. I'm going to go to Tribute and I'm taking that shade and I'm going to put it on the outer third of my lower lash line and connecting it to the top. I'm very tempted to put Cafe Disco in the middle of my eyelid. What do we do? What do we do? Okay, let's put it in the middle, okay? Let's go to Cafe Disco. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply it completely dry first. Now Cafe Disco, I'm gonna apply it wet with MAC Fix Plus. Pretty pretty, very pretty. Okay, now let's go to this eye and we're gonna do a second look with a neutral palette. First, let's go to my whole heart. And I'm just going to use this shade as a base all over the lid. Okay, next I'm going to go to Move Point and I'm going to take this shade above the crease. I'm also taking this shade down. Next I'm going to the shade Talia and I'm going to apply it on my outer V. That same shade I'm going to take it here on the inner portion of my eyelid. Next, I'm gonna go into the shade, You're Not My Real Dad. And I'm gonna take this shade on my outer V. Jumping into Golden Ticket. I'm doing the same thing as the other eye. I'm first gonna apply it completely dry. 
Let's intensify Golden Ticker with some Magfist Plus. Lower Lash Line and Moo Point. Told ya. And I'm applying it very close to my lash line. Then we go to You're Not My Real Dad. And I'm gonna apply it even closer to my lower lash line on the outer third. And I'm taking the same shade and I'm gonna line my upper lash line with it. And with that same shade, I'm just gonna create a little a small mini wing. And whatever is remaining on the brush, I'm just taking it a little bit on my lower lash line, just smoking it out. Going back to my whole heart, and I'm using this shade for my inner corner as well as my brow bone. I'm going to go with the shade Lumos and I'm mixing it in with the shade Disco Dust. Now I'm applying it on my inner corner, just flicking it in a little so that way it mix in with the other shades so it doesn't look stark white. Whatever is remaining, I'm just going to take it right here on my brow bone with a little bit of that Disco Dust shade. And here we go to my final thoughts and feedback about this palette. Okay, for being a palette with pressed pigments, I have to say with the pressed pigments, the colorful shades, I didn't find out a lot, I mean, and overall, a lot of kickback. They are nicely pressed, but not too, too pressed that, you know, that you will find complications at using it. I did my foundation first, all my base, and then I went with the eyeshadows. And that can be a mistake right there for many of you, but I just try to keep it as real as I will do it in, you know, in real life. And honestly, I didn't have to even clean off any, you know, fallout, nothing, absolutely nothing. I went ahead and top it off really well. And what I can see is that you can kind of like build on on pigmentation, which I like it. And then another feedback right here is on the shimmer shades. Both of them, I find out that they are, they don't give you that metallic full impact, which I appreciate because she only has two shimmer shade, metallic shades right here. And instead of being fully metallic and you know give you a big kapow right away, I think that Christy actually looked for a formulation that it can give you that, you know, that eyeshadow that is always a transformer. That that you can actually just tap it and give a little bit of a sparkles if you want all over the eyelid, or you know, use a brush and just kind of like sweep it over or actually go full pigmentation, wetting them and, you know, or even using your finger and actually give that, you know, very reflective type of finish. So I think that she did good. I mean, some people will be like, that metallic is not right there. You know, I, I can see some people being like, maybe criticizing that, but I see where she was coming from with this one right here. You know, give that flexibility to use it to your desire, not necessarily to be a full on metallic. Again, mostly thinking that, you know, there's only two metallic shades right here. I like the color stories, both of them. This really speaks about Christy. Every time that I see Christy's um, videos, like for example, she loves some of the Mel Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes. There's one that I think it's Gemini, Gemini palette. And I can see, you know, kind of like that base green right here. This is a brown, but it has a little bit of like a army type of, you know, like khaki type of green. I don't know how to explain it. And then this master shade right here too. I mean, I can see that in here because those are the shades that she likes when she uses neutral. I'm very happy that she included this shade right here. In my personal, very humble opinion, I will have love to have seen another mauve shade, maybe like a deeper tone, it would have been really cool. But this comes from a person that likes purple, mauve, pinky tones, dusty rose shades. That's just me. Again, that's just me. And I mean, overall, I think this speaks about who is Christy. You know, it's not about me, it's who is Christy. I love the outcome. I love the performance of the shadows. Really super easy to blend. Again, pigmentation is out there. I like the concept. Um, I think it's 
a very interesting concept. And like I said, it, it was a really good way also to avoid all the criticism to see everything on one pan of a palette and people be like, oh, she make it half colorful, half neutral. I think this is a way to not only get away from that too, but also using fun colors that, you know, they are, I mean, there's not really like a color story per se, but these are just a little, your adventurous colors. Those colors that, you know, if you want to create something very editorial, that's what would you, that's what you will do. I'm not a person that will go that route. I, like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. I just love makeup. I like to play with makeup. I love to play with makeup and I appreciate, you know, the artistry part of it. Now I want you to see these two shades, Dandelion, Dandelion and Camelot together. They, I mean, there's a difference right there. One is a little bit more brighter than the other. Did they were both necessary on this palette? Hey, for Christy, yes. For me, perhaps, perhaps that's where the change um, of that Moviton, I would have loved to have seen it. But hey, you know who I am to criticize? Christy, Christy, our raw beauty Christy. I love her so much because, you know, her personality is just so clear. It transpasses the screen. She is just raw, you know, the way that she shows herself. And I love and I appreciate about that in this industry, in this beauty community here and be herself and see what she has achieved because you know being herself and showcasing herself and not having necessarily this you know shell of protection or just like a mask of you know another person she's just true and true christy who she is and i just adore her like i said i mentioned um this palette on my last will i buy it video that when i saw it i wasn't drawn to it i wasn't like I won that palette. In fact, I was doing the Will I Buy It video and I saw this pop out and obviously I didn't read who was the palette from and I didn't mention it, but I, as soon as I saw that it was from Beauty Christie and then I watched the entire reveal video, the next day I recorded a little portion just talking about this palette, how much I appreciate her, how much I want to support her. and. I, I believe, and I hope I don't lose you right here, but I'm a believer in God, in, you know, high heavens, a high power above us. And I feel like she has a miracle in her life. That's her baby. And I want to be part of celebrating that miracle by celebrating her with this collaboration. This is a great achievement. She's living her best year. I know 2020 is just <laughs> insane for all of us. But you know, why not to be part of that celebration? That being said, again, this palette and the eyelashes too and the full collection is available right now for pre-sale at an external site from Pure Cosmetics. Again, everything will be linked down below and you will have the opportunity to pre-order it until Monday, July the 20th. After that, Pure and even Christy said that they cannot guarantee they will be there will be a more palette. I mean, they are just trying to push this through in a way to also, you know, for pure to demonstrate to others that they, I mean, like I said, no business wants a lunch to go the way that it went for this particular lunch. And the palettes from the pre-sale, they will be cheap out. It is my understanding by the very end of August. I think it was August 31st that they said and the very beginning of September. So just for you to be aware of. And now I would love to read your comments down below. What you think about this palette? Tell me all about it you were able to order it have you received it let's start the conversation down below and while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet i hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel ring that post notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my uploads here i do a lot of reviews of new makeup releases i also do hauls revisit other makeup i have here also a series where we create an eyeshadow palette from existing eyeshadow palettes from a certain brand so we give you know more love to all our collection and it's a lot of fun i also have started a series in spanish with some friends here on youtube so because i'm peruvian by the way <laughs> so it would be lovely to become a bigger greater family also 
come and follow me on my Instagram if you want to see close-up images of any products and I also keep you posted of the new releases thank you so so much again for your time for being here if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day bye bye